Okay, starting on the pole, Femio Lap with a 21.285. Well, that's a fast lap here at Richmond. Wow. And uh, congratulations to him for grabbing the pole. Freddie De La Rosa will start on the outside of the front row in second. Hunter Combs third. Jared Darling fourth. Terrell Baker fifth. Uh, M. Scott Rambler will be sixth. Bobby Cheney seventh. Uh, Payne Faust will be eighth place. Ryan Marin's ninth. Uh, Connor Lane tenth. Aaron Davis eleventh. Joseph Lombard will start twelfth. Uh, Justin Egan, 13th. Caden Henry will start uh, 14th. Tom Mercier, 15th. Nicholas Caldwell, 16th. Max Brady, 17th. John Barry starting way back in 17th. First one to not take a qualifying time. Will Klein will be 19th. Cody Miller, 20th. Sean Williams, 21st. Spencer Owens, 22nd. Aaron Smith, 23rd. James Koulibaly will be 24th. Uh, Nick... That's the one I had trouble with before. <laughs> and Delicato. And, and Delic. Yes. <laughs> Delicato will start 25th. Jeffrey Phillips, 26th. And Scott McCann will start dead last on the field in 27th. A big field here tonight. Wow. Pretty awesome. Yep, 27 trucks. Yeah, and Delicato. That's a lot of owls. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> <to> is. <say. laughs> sure is. A nice big field, 27 drivers. Ooh. That is if everybody does take the grid. In terms of the trucks, we got 16 of them as several autos, and about 10 or 11 of them as uh, Tundras. Oh, so definitely okay. more several autos than Tundras tonight. Ah. I don't see Koulibaly on the grid yet. Doesn't look like he's going to make the start. So he'll be either starting on pit road or he's already left the room. Not sure which, but. Well, time for that bio. Time for the track bio of Richmond International Raceway. Whether under the lights or the bright sun day, Richmond International Raceway is home to excitement. The action track, as it's known, combines the best of both worlds super speedway speeds and short track action at quarters of a mile at length it's not use unusual to witness tempers flaring at Richmond that is a fact <laughs> tempers do seem to flare here all right two pace laps here folks we'll be uh, we'll be ready to go next time by we'll be getting the green flag Koulibaly didn't start. Hmm. Yeah, he's not in the world. Probably bad internet like me earlier. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> okay, folks, here we go. Pace cars in. Maybe a lap bringing them to the line. Ready, green, 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 green. And there's the green. We're off and going. Good start by everybody. Hunter Combs right up underneath the. Femio Lat right there, Freddie Delarose on the outside, and he's going to fall into that race groove. Throw Baker for it. Joe Down. Yep, Joe Down uh -oh. now Charles trying the game with Joe Baker. I just seen somebody there. I'm trying to catch up with them. Oh. We got a bunch of them here. Yeah. I think it was Aaron Davis that got loose there, but I, I'm not really positive on that. Let's go back and take a look at this. They didn't even make a lap. That blows my mind. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, this is right on the start. I'm down here on Aaron Davis. I think he's the one that got loose. He was going into turn three. Well, actually, what I think he did was he got down on that yellow line. Oh, no, he got tapped. It's like uh, by the 27 of uh, Connor Lane, looks like. Connor's going to get, uh, he's going to get into involved in some of this stuff. 
and actually goes down pit road and he is smoking already heavy smoke coming from connor's truck so he's on pit road yep, over 15 and these yep, guys over 15 drivers are now on pit road yeah uh, these guys uh you do get damage on your truck and you're going to be sitting on pit road getting it fixed yep only nine just stayed out on the track Joseph, how are you? Uh, how are you chatting and driving at the same time? How do you do that? Isn't that against the law? Texting and driving? Yeah, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I think it is against the law. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Is it in the sporting code somewhere that have we missed? <laughs> yeah. You can't miss anything in the sporting code. Yeah, you can't miss anything in that book. It looks like Connor Lane has taken his car be or truck behind the wall. That heavy smoke. And probably going to be sitting on pit road for a long time trying to get that fixed. So I think he called it a night. Yep. Oh, I noticed that like Matt Kenseth at Texas two years ago. Huh. Yeah. I never seen that race. I yo, I do want to say though, I remember when Richmond International Raceway uh, used to have this banana pit at turn four. You hit that banana pit, <laughs> and your car would, your truck or car, or whatever, would just get so unstable, cause the wreck. I think oh, you remember boy. that. Well, it looks like we got two of them out now. Max Brady and Connor Lane, both taking their cars behind the wall. Uh, Nicholas Caldwell still sitting on pit road. We'll see you, Joseph. Uh, texting and driving and he's a couple of laps down now so it's getting him behind <laughs> he needs to stop with the chatting and the texting he's gonna yeah. hurt his truck or something yeah pay attention to that track <laughs> he won't be two laps down Femi trying to burn fuel off or something there he's riding around in first gear I think he feels like with all that fuel in the car it's getting the truck on the and burning some of that fuel might get him more settled in the turns. Because it's not yeah. the straight you should be worried about, which means, like any other track, it should be the turns. Right. They should be most right. worried about. Okay, the lights are out. And we're ready to go back racing here, so get them going, Josh. Uh huh? the top nine drivers have not been to pit road yet yep Cody Miller is starting 20 if he's now in ninth place look at him okay it's called guys to pit road and Ready, green, 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 green. green flag is back in the air Hunter Combs is doing everything he can to try to stay ahead of Terrell Baker. Terrell's on the outside trying to make that run. And here comes Bobby Chaney into four. Wow, he's moved up, picked up uh, three spots since the start of the race. Yep, he's now behind Hunter Combs and he's behind Fred De La Rosa. Ryan Marin, sixth place from ninth so we have had a few of them that have uh, come up through uh, Aaron Davis which we've seen was involved in that wreck there is actually doing okay I think I don't think it really hurt his truck because he kept it off the wall and everything just may have been a little bit of right side damage or something caution somewhere caution. we got a caution oh and that was Jeffrey Phillips going around nobody got hurt or no damage on any vehicles just uh, got loose coming out of the turn all about that throttle management yep
Oh, that's Joseph's mom. Oh, okay. That, no, that explains it. We were just having fun with him. Sorry. We were just having As always. some fun. Yeah. <laughs> As always. <laughs> just trying to keep you folks in chat there on, on the edge of your seat. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Joseph's mom, for tuning in. We appreciate that very much. Good to, good to have you. Give us a thumbs up on the video there, folks, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. We still got the front eight. Eight trucks are down pit road. Yeah, we still got the front eight that have not come to pit road yet, all the way back to Payne Faust. Yeah, Fred Rosa is now off pit road, back on the track in 14th, it says. Yeah, I think he did come to pit road, yeah. Back in 14th, yep. Yeah, I think he wanted to get some fresh tires on that truck. Now he's got a now he's got a little bit of work to do to get up through this uh, field. He'll be all right though. Lots of race to go yet. Yep. So far, a driver on the move award a bit early, but uh, Scott McCann is on 27th, and he's now in eighth position. That's a, game right. of 19, that's a game of 19 places. Okay, Nate. Uh, when do you want to get together there, Nate? Uh, I could probably get get with you after the race here tonight. I could just meet you in my team speak if you want or whatever. Nicholas Caldwell still on pit road with some uh, moderate damage to the backside of his truck. Joe Darling, Caden Henry Oaks, and Will Klein are now coming down pit boat as well. Nicholas Caldwell coming back off pit road. He's uh, five laps down. He's trying to get as much damage as he can fixed on that truck under caution. So, good luck to him for uh, you know trying to get that fixed up to be competitive again. And maybe he'll get a chance to get some of them laps back under caution. I hope he does. <laughs> oh, okay, Nate. Okay. All right. Well, I'll talk to you then. Hey, we still got uh, 22 of them on the lead lap. Waiting for the lights to go out here so we can get them doubled up and go back racing. And the lights are out. Femi a lap. Bobby Cheney on the front row. And Femi's opted to start on the outside. Interesting. Maybe you know something we don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> Could be. Let's hope his back tires don't pop. <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, the front, front seven now have not been to pit road. Freddie D's back up to 12. All right, pace cars in, and there we go, green, green, green. green, green. Oh, not quite the start Bobby Cheney, I think, wanted right there, but not bad. Uh, Ryan Marin now side by side with Terrell Baker. Ryan's on the outside. Wow, they're kind of like all over the place at the moment here. Cody Miller in fifth. Let's go back in the field here a ways. Hunter Combs. Talking about him. Ooh, some checking up going on up here ahead. John Barry in 13th. Trying to get a run on Sean Williams. Sean riding in the yep, Taylor, Taylor Swift Sw truck. Taylor Swift truck, yes, sir. The yeah, Taylor Swift you like so much. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to see Taylor get get any damage on her face there. Last night we seen she had uh, quite a bit of damage on her face, or the other night, excuse me, she had quite a bit of damage. I hate to see Taylor with damage yep, on her face. Yep, just make it cringe. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ooh, yeah, lots of going on here. Yeah. Ooh, Nick and Delicato. It's 
going backwards, losing a bunch of positions. He was clear up to about, uh, I think he was up to about 13th, and here he is back in 16th now after starting 25th. Freddie D back up to 6th. Picking him off a couple at a time here. Uh-oh, somebody got loose. Terrell Baker. Freddie D's going to get on by. Bobby Cheney, only three quarters of a second from Femi Olap, but they have pulled away from third place. Cody Miller by over a second and a half. Yeah, as you can see, a gap between Bobby Chain and Cody Miller. I'm not sure if Cody Miller can catch up Cheney. But we got a lot more laps to go. Uh oh, somebody down on the grass. Tyler Baker, number 25. Yep, trying to catch up to him here. He got to go back going again, but he went for a ride down across the front grass there, helped the groundskeepers out mowing the grass a little bit. Well, he lost I don't a think ton Chuck's of position. Blades. Yep. I don't think uh, Chuck's have mobile blades. I don't think Chuck's have mobile blades. No. Yeah, you never know. No, but oh, there's another spinner. Yep, I just saw it. Caden Henry down on the grass, but no caution. Wow, Caden Henry. Caution somewhere. Caution. There's a caution now. Terrell Baker going around again. Rambler just got on the grass on the front there. Yeah, Terrell was sideways on the track right in front of traffic, so Terrell brings out the caution. This is caution number three, folks. We got a lot of races and we still to go got yet. I know, we got 126 laps to go. This yeah. is... <sighs> yeah, just slick conditions out here. This isn't one of them tracks that, you know, you can... Uh, baby around here man you got to stay in the throttle but you know you got to be all about throttle control I'm kind of wondering if these guys are going to come to pit road now I think I think we're going to see them come to pit road yeah yeah if I mean all that's down there's Bob Queen Bobby Cheney it says here partly cloudy 9 degrees Fahrenheit track is 90 degrees Fahrenheit as well Yep, it's a busy, busy place out here right now. And it looks like uh, Hunter Combs is going to stay out to lead a lap. Yep, Joe Darling and Justin Egan will stay out as well. Yep. Oh, Egan's a lap. He's many laps down, so he, or a lap down, he can't pit. So. All right, let's see if uh, Femi gets off of pit road first here. Gonna be a drag race. I uh, believe he made it out ahead of Bobby Cheney, barely. Yep, barely. Oh, but the lead goes to Hunter Combs. Looks like he's coming to pit road now. And that's gonna give the lead up to Jared Darling. Now Jared's already been on pit road. And yes, he has. So there's no need for him to go down there again. Egan uh, is right behind him. Now, Egan should get the wave by. He's the only car out there that is a lap down, so he would be the iRacing wave by. Should be. Plus, he was involved in a uh, spin or accident or fender bender of, of any type. That kind of nullifies your chance to get back on the lead lap, you know, or get that wave by. And on the subject of uh, Justin Egan, I do see damage on the front bed of his truck and on the lower ends of the rear of his truck. Oh, Jared's going to come to pit road. He led a lap, so going to give it up. That'll give the lead back to Femi Olat. Yep, with that Justin Egan in front of him. <laughs> yeah, Egan will get the, the way by and he'll be at the tail end of the lead lap. He's still got some pretty hefty damage on that truck, but 
as long as it's running, I guess that's, you know, he's been working on trying to get it fixed up uh, throughout the whole race. It's got a lot of damage on it. Golly, man. I know. And hopefully, he's, and hopefully he keeps an eye on him temperatures and stuff, because if that thing starts overheating, I, I, gosh, I wouldn't want to see it blow the motor on it. So there he goes. He gets away by. And Femi decides to start on the outside again. Oh, well, meanwhile, the fastest, uh, probably the fastest lap is Hunter Combs with a 21.773. Ready to go green here, folks. Ace cars in. And there goes Femi. Green, 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 green. Green is out. Freddie D back up the fourth. He pitted with them guys again. He didn't want to not be on fresh tires with them. Cody Miller coming from 20th to third. Obviously the biggest mover out there right now, Josh. Yeah, see, Step is going to get the driver on the move award tonight. It's I know it's so early to call it, but sometimes you just have to call it early. Yep. Oh, oh he just lost it there. One stretch. Yes, yeah, Ramlet down, back on the grass. He coming up the track a little. There he goes, turning around. <laughs> Aaron Davis hanging on to sixth. Right behind him, we got a battle here between John Barry. And Sean Williams, these two have been racing around each other quite a bit. And Sean Williams, the Kayla Swift, is eighth, starting twenty first. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty big move too. Uh, Nick and Delicato in ninth after coming from twenty fifth, another big mover. Payne Foss rounds out the top 10. Joseph Lombard moving up one position since the beginning of the race. Hopefully his mom's enjoying the show. Joseph Lombard, mom. Uh, Terrell Baker now back in 13th right behind Hunter Combs. Uh, Spencer Owens. And 14th. Scott McCann, Aaron Smith. Tom Mercier. And Tom Mc Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Caden, Chuck. Caden Henry. Ooh, what's that? Aaron Smith just got out of it. Caden Henry is gonna go by Aaron Smith. And there's Jared Darling. Jared, boy, I figured he'd be a little closer to the front, but it's early. I think he's just trying to keep himself in position here, keep that truck clean. Caution uh, somewhere. Oh, caution. We got a caution. Joseph Lombard goes around right in front of traffic, but no damage. Go back and check this out. And see what happened. I don't think there was any. I don't think there was any contact. There might have been, but go back and we'll take a look at it here. It was very thin contact. It would have been very light. Well, these trucks are so on the edge. You did get into the wall right there. Uh, but these things are so on the edge when they're in these turns. And he's slight. No, he just got loose on his own. Yep, he's back in that throttle a little bit too quick. So, but he yeah, this track requires a lot of patience when you get back in the funnel. You yep. do it too early, you're going to spin. Do it too late, you're going to spin. You got to do it at the right moment. Yes, hey, sir. Spin. Well, uh, let's see if we can get uh, Joseph down here. Joseph Lombard, you got a copy? Yes, I do. Well, your mom is watching, and we thought it was you texting and driving. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I kind of got forced in the wall off the turn, too, because uh, TCB is typical. He doesn't give people a lot of room off the corners. But, uh, no, the uh, 
You know, I got involved in the uh, first wreck early on, but then I started making some good grounds, and then uh, I just pushed it a little too much off the corner of four, and I just lost it. Uh, the track's very, there's like really no grip out on the track right now because, you know, with the hot temperatures this track has. So uh, uh, it's unfortunate. It's still early on in the race. I'm still keeping my head up high. Uh, we'll get back and rebound here, and hopefully we'll savage maybe a top 15, top 10 finish. All right. Well, say hi to mom. Hi to mom. Hello, mom. Thanks for all, for watching, and thank you to those that are watching the broadcast. I hope you guys have a good one, and I hope you guys have a good one up in the booth. All right, Joseph. Good luck. All right. Thanks, bud. All right. Well, he's going to be clear back and dead last. Barely made it off a of pit road in time there. Speaking of the driver that just really didn't get the best luck tonight, uh, Hunter Combs so far, uh, he started in third, he's now in 21st. Yeah, that's what a tough a, break for him. Yeah. Alright, Justin Egan just trying to get more damage fixed on Pet Road. He's making progress. I mean, he's come from five laps down. You know, after that involvement in that wreck and getting a lot of damage on that truck, he's making progress on it. He's staying, he's on this lead lap. So it pays to stay with it. It does. He's fully improved. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Uh, but right now, Justin Egan is in 18th place. He's on 13th. Alright, the uh, light should go out this time, Josh, I believe. I think everybody's off of pit road now. And yeah, lights are out. Yep. We're going green next time, so get them going. Huh? Make sure you're live. Are you live? I am. Okay. Is that a problem? You can't hear me, though? No. No, I want to make sure you're alive. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> Nice car dives down. Bring no that. Just launches off right there and then. Green flag gets back in the air. Freddie D right up beside Cody Miller to take that third place away from Cody. Oh, he might get a twofer out of it. Bobby Cheney was really loose. And here comes Freddie D to get second from Bobby. Oh, the neck and neck on the fun stretch. Oh, man, but Freddie D did beat him to the line, but he hasn't completed the pass on him. He still hasn't. Looks like Bobby's going to let him go so he can get back into the race line there. Yeah, the race line is very important no matter what track you're at. Yep. John Barry getting around Caden Henry. Let's ride along with Caden Henry here for a minute and see what, uh, see what he's seeing. Not that one. There we go. Thank you. I'm gonna fire that camera, man. <laughs> it wasn't me, I swear. Having a pretty good run. Freddie D second now closing up on Femi Lat. Those two have raced. Gosh, I I don't even know how many races they've raced together. They, those two are always seem to be racing around each other. Must have been nearly over 50 races, I'm guessing. Oh. Maybe nearly 100. Oh, I don't know. A lot. <laughs> A lot. John Barry working the inside of Cody Miller. Cody's going backward. What's going on with Cody tonight? He picked up all them positions at the beginning of the race, and now he's losing them.
There's something I've really come to understand is that you keep when you're racing on this on any track and you're making those really quick laps for the first couple of laps. Oh. Oh, we got a Baker. Yep, Jerome Baker. Caution somewhere. Caution. Wow, yeah, he big time spin there. Let's go check it out. See if there was any contact between him and another driver. I think it's caution. I don't think so. Was. Or something. Great Clips truck is just not having a good night tonight. No. Hope well, gets a good night next time. Oh, he caught the yellow line, and that's all it takes. And he hits the wall. Not real he hard. Got, I don't think it did. Any, actually, I don't think it did any damage to him. But he was okay. I saw a little bit of... He come back up onto the track right here, and when he spun again, that's when the caution come out. I think I saw a little bit of front damage on this truck. Yeah, it's just a slight, slight amount, because it was just, just a... A tap into the wall there really wasn't really enough to do you know significant damage but I've seen taps like that actually take the engine out make the engine smoke you know kind of weird uh, one time you can do it and nothing happens and the next time you do it uh, pops your engine or something you know yes it is probably the result of a glitch or a bug that for some reason I don't think they've ever Try to fix yet? All right. Maybe gave the thought. Maybe fixing it. Well, Femio Lat has led 46 out of the 49 laps out here tonight. Uh, Jared Darling's led one. Hunter Combs has led one. And uh, Femi's led 47. So that's all the laps that have been led. Well, 47 at the line. So, pretty good night for Femi Olat. Yep. No, on the opposite side, well, Will Klein has done the most pit stops with nine, with the average number between four and six. Well, I, that's not really that accurate. I, I don't go by that. That's not very accurate. You're on I, are you on IRTVO? No, my race tracker. It's a probably okay, old different yeah. thing. That's that's not really that accurate. I've noticed that about uh, it's something in the API file where the where it'll show them that they've been on pit road and they haven't, so, or they've shows them that they haven't been to pit road and they have. You know, it's not really that accurate. Uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's possible. I just don't. I just, just letting you know. I don't think it's that accurate. Because he just came to pit road again. <laughs> it might be. I, I don't know. Could be. Yep. <laughs> I know if it was me, I'd be stopping every single chance I got to get fresh tires. This track just loves <laughs> to grind the tires off of them. Hey, lights are out. Ryan Marin up here with Femi Olat this time. Yep, it's always about those right eyes, you know? Yes, sir. They're the ones that key up the quickest. I'm waiting for something on the outside in mode two. Stage one is over, and here we go. Pace cars in. And there's the green. Green, 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 green. Yeah, stage one uh, was at 50 laps, so they're over that now. And now we're on to green racing. This will be for 100 laps in the second stage. Sean Williams on the outside of Cody Miller. Trying to make something happen. John coming from 21st up to 4th, so there's two big movers right there together. Cody Miller started 20th and he's in 3rd. Sean Williams started 21st and then 4th. Boy, 
big battle going on here. Look at that pack of trucks back here. Aaron Davis right in the middle of that. There were three wide in the turn. This is not a three wide oh, track. Oh, wow. Oh, somebody had to give. And that was Tom Mercier. He's going to back way out of it. He did not like that. He doesn't I, want that. Yeah, I couldn't blame him no. there. He doesn't want to do anything with three wide racing on a short track like Richmond. No. Two's bad enough, let alone three. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron just Davis. Racing, might as well head. One, two, three, we're racing. Might as well head to. A, yeah. Want, might as well head to a track like Atlanta, Texas, maybe Michigan. Yep. John Barry trying to pork up through the field. He started 18th, running in ninth. Oh, oh Sean Williams is in the grass. It. Yeah. What the heck, Sean? <laughs> Wow, he's trying to get that thing straightened out. And he's going to go clear to the back of the field. Yep, back to 22nd. Wow, from 4th to 20. Oh, end of the car, Another Lombard. Spin. Yep, Lombard off of the track, and so is Jeffrey Phillips. This is not good for the car Joseph. was in the grass as well. He's going to have to get it going here. He's going to go a lap down. Oh, he just went a lap down. What a shame. Yep. Well, he sat there for the longest time. He didn't, like, move or anything, so... No caution on that either. Jeffrey Phillips did get it going, and he's going to stay on the lead lap back in 22nd. Not ahead of him by a whole lot, but he's he's still on the lead lap. Speaking of the lead lap, 22 of the 27 trucks are on the lead lap. Bobby Cheney, third place. John Barry's worked himself up into fifth. So he's, he kept moving through. M. Scott Ramler in seventh. We haven't talked about him all night. Here he is in seventh. He's been quietly sneaking his way up, back up through the field here. He got back in, uh, he was out of the top ten for a little bit. And now he's got himself back in the top ten. Caution somewhere. Uh oh, caution. Okay, caution. Let's see where that's Jeffrey Phillips going around. Ooh. As he was trying to stay on the lead lap. Ouch. Nobody got into him. That's always a good thing. Indeed. And, it's, and Jeffrey Phillips is now that we got damage pretty much all around this truck. I'll tell you, I bet you these guys can't wait for this race to be over tonight. They're, they're just wishing, dreaming this race to be over with. And lead us a down pit road. Phillips and Lumba on down pit road. Let's see if Femi can get out first. Looks like he's going to. Yep, he's going to get out first. Ryan Marin's that second. Bobby Cheney third. race off of pit road John Barry fifth right behind Cody Miller Aaron Davis sixth M Scott Rambler seventh Terrell Baker back up to eight Scott McCann ninth and uh, Payne Faust runs out the top ten and my behind Faust is Joe Downing Jared, he's been keeping that truck pretty clean tonight. I got to give him a lot of credit, man. He's uh, he's kind of drifted back, yep. trying to stay out of trouble. And now, 
We're almost at the halfway mark. He's going to start working his way back to the front. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, Joe Dolan, that's pretty much his thing, keeping the truck clean, because, yeah. hey, he doesn't want to start scuffing that thing out when the race is over, right? Right. Well, good news, Joseph Lombard back on the lead lap now. But uh, Jeffrey Phillips did go a lap down. He's going to have a little bit of damage on that truck, so he'll be at the tail end of the field. But he'll be the only truck a lap down now. Lombard's still on the lead lap at the tail end of it. So we'll see how he can do here coming up. Be uh, getting ready to go green. We should get the one to go this time by, I do believe. No, maybe not, because there's a few more people that did come to Pet Road. Sometimes that kind of holds them up. If they can get off of Pet Road yeah. and everybody's out there, they'll usually get the one to go, but they might still. I don't know. It depends. iRacing picks that up, and sometimes they, uh, sometimes they, you know, they give them an extra lap. But I think they made it out okay, so they, yeah, lights are out. Okay. Well, it looks like Femi might start on the inside this time. He's been starting on the outside. Hmm. Let's see how it works out for him. Hmm, a change of strategy, maybe? Well, it don't really matter that much when you're the leader like that. You get the start, and he's going to get that jump, you know, and take right off, and nobody else can go until he goes. So... You know, the leader usually gets that jump, so on a track like this here, probably really isn't going to matter a whole lot which lane he starts. On a super speedway or something, I would say yes. Pace car is in, and there he goes. Ready, green, 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 good green. start. Bobby Chaney got a good run on Ryan Marin. Here comes Cody Miller and Aaron Davis. John Barry, second. Tyler Beckett, Beck is in seventh. Behind him is Scott Gambler. Yeah, there's the, the caution. Six cautions for 30 laps. And we've only had three lead changes, but... Uh-oh, somebody else? Okay, there are three wide back here. Wow. Payne Faust, he just backed right out of it. He says, no way, I'm not going three wide today. You have to be crazy to go three oh, laps. Yeah. All right, we just got a good run here. Oh, we got another spinner. And the in delicato from the grass. Is that the, yep in delicato? Wow, just lost it there. You know when a pack of trucks like that, the air is really disturbed around them trucks. And boy, you really got to be prepared for that. Back up front, Femio Lat still leading. Sixty-six laps, he's been in the lead. Kind of shaping up to where he may lead the most laps here tonight. Oh, we got one in the wall. No caution. That was uh, that was Rambler got into the wall, but no caution. Overseeing a lot of a lot of wall burgers tonight, as Scott calls them. I don't know if you get fries. Yeah, I don't know if you get fries with them wall burgers or not, but <laughs> and we got another one. Ooh, yeah, what a good look way at to this. put it. Here we go. There's another three wide battle going on. Hunter Combs, Payne Foss, and Sean Williams. Williams is hanging on to the middle. Man, good call getting out of that as fast as you can. And I want to be in there. He want to get there as quick as possible. Yep. Spencer Owens up the ninth after starting 22nd. Rambler pit load. Probably due to that wall. Uh, yeah, that wall burger. Uh, looks like he's taking it behind the wall. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Terrell Baker back into fifth place right where he started. And he's barely ahead of Freddie D. Oh, a little loose right there. Not sure. Oh, it's got caution. Caden Henry. Caden Henry going around. 
Uh, we'll get a chance to maybe get a word in with another driver. But uh, I think what we'll do, maybe wait and see who, who pits here. Uh, maybe we'll... Who, who in team speak you feel like talking to, Josh? At this moment, I think... Let's see... Joseph Lombard? We just got done talking to him. Oh, so can we get Femi all that? No. Yeah, yeah, we can. I, I, I usually don't talk okay. to the leader too much, but that's fine. We can talk to him. I told you to pick one. <laughs> you did. Let's wait till they get done with their pit stops here, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can get a word in with Femi. Is he in here? He's not in team speak. Wow. Not in team not speak. I thought anybody would be in team speak. Yeah, I can't talk to him unless they're in team speak. So, I'll tell you what, we'll talk to Terrell Baker. How, how's that? Let's let's wait. Yeah, that's, off that, here. yeah. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, team that's speak. my second option. Oh my word, Aaron okay. Davis going to be out first with a two tire change. Whoa! Wow! Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get a uh, word in here with uh, Terrell Baker. Oh, Terrell man. Baker, you got a copy? Yep. Terrell, how's it going out there tonight? Oh, uh, well, it's been pretty rough, and it just got even rougher. It just got speeding, but uh, oh. truck was really, really tight, man. I mean, I don't know how I did it, but I loosened her up a little bit, and uh, it's running good now, but now we're going to have to try to battle back and see what happens. Oh, my gosh. Really, a, a, a speeding off a of pit road penalty? Oh, yeah, man, that's a bummer. Yeah, that's that's difficult to come back from. Well, you know the way the cautions have been flying here tonight, uh, Terrell. I don't think it'll be a problem for you. You'll work your way back up there. I know you're good enough to do that. But uh, what's the track conditions like out there tonight? There are there. I know it's hot. Or is it slick to begin with? Yeah, it seems like on new tires, um, turn two is a little bit of like a handful, and then um, on older tires, turn four becomes the uh, handful corner. So. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty loose, and then it gets tight, and then it gets loose again. So, <laughs> Ooh, wow, that's hard to. How do you adjust for that? Uh, you don't. <laughs> you, you just don't. try to live with it, man. <laughs> I mean, I I've been somehow surviving. I mean, I wrecked like twice, but we're still doing pretty well, though. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah, the truck looks looks to be okay. Maybe a couple little little dents in it, but nothing major. So. Uh, all right, well, thanks yeah, for talking with us, Terrell. Thanks. We appreciate that, buddy, man. That's uh, pretty cool. Good luck out there. Yeah, thanks, Rudy. Uh, shout out to my mom again, and uh, shout out to uh, TCB gang. <laughs> and shout right. out to you, Rudy. All right, man. Well, yeah, but I didn't know mom was in there watching. Yeah, hey. mom's always watching. <laughs> Number cool. one fan. <laughs> That's cool. That is so cool. All right. Well, good luck out there, Terrell. All right, Rudy. All right, Aaron Davis, our leader, with a two-tire change. He did get a lap lead. Looks like he's going to start on the outside. Probably a good choice because Femi's going to probably beat him going into turn one. Like always. <laughs> we'll get him going, Josh. All right. Yep, turn two. The new tires as well, turn four. Road tires as well. Either way, it sounds like you're pretty much screwed, doesn't it? Yeah. I think he just did it for track position and to, and to get some bonus points there for leading the lap. That pace car down the pit green, 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 green. and back green. Well, Aaron got a pretty good start there, and uh, he, I don't know if he's going to be able to hold off. Uh, I mean, but you heard what uh, Terrell said that the the tires are a little slick for a couple of laps on new tires, so ooh, there's a spinner back there. Here comes Bobby Cheney to the inside. See, Aaron can't keep the pace there on the turns like these guys can with them four fresh tires. Ryan Marin now taking a look inside. Oh, Freddie D gonna oh. get into the side of him, and that's gonna be the big one. That's gonna be the big one. Oh my, yeah, we got a lot oh, of no, oh, trucks. No. Some wounds was involved in that. Oof. 
Sean Wimp was involved oh, in that one. Oh no. Yeah, look at her face now. <laughs> oh, let's go back and take a look here. Now this is where uh, was Aaron Davis down on the bottom or on the top here. Okay, now Ryan Marin goes underneath. Freddie D kind of does a crossover here, and it looked like he was going to go down and follow Ryan Marin, but he got into the back of Aaron Davis right there. Just a slight tap, enough to make him loose, and that's also going to collect uh, Freddie D into it. Man, we got a lot of them that are going to get collected into that. Holy smokes. Aaron, I think it might be all right. He's going to have damage on his truck, but he might be all right. Yeah, Sean Williams just got pounded right there. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of tore up yeah, trucks at, now. Yeah, look at Taylor Swift's face. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know it. I know it. That's a shame, you know. That's a shame. Yep. <laughs> Poor Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Sean better get her fixed up. He better get her fixed up. All right, Femi Alat. Looks like he's going to stay out. I don't know if Sean's in here or not. Yeah, he is. We can get a word in with Sean. Yep. Is he still sitting? No, he's off pit road. Is he off pit road or coming to pit road? I believe he is. Yeah, he's off road now. Okay. Let's see if we can get a word in with him. Sean Williams, you got a copy. Sean? Yes, sir. How you doing, Rudy? <laughs> You're coming back into pit road? Okay. Wow. I got what? five minutes and something optional. <laughs> Man, just nowhere for you to go right there. Aaron Davis was just I... you know, sideways. Oh, man. I almost threaded the needle. I hammered down, saw a gap, and then somebody came down there and got me. That's oh, all right. Oh, man. Well, yeah, but we don't want to see any damage on Taylor Swift's face. That that just... The, <laughs> the, the other night, man, you needed a cement trial to fix up her face with makeup because she was banged up so bad. But uh, let's see... Oh, if yeah, can, it was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can keep her face looking good tonight. I'm gonna try it. Snuck through, got some stage points, but that caution came out. Everybody pitted and we stayed out, so that yeah. was good. Now just yep. try to salvage something here. Well, you're gonna be the last one on the lead lap here, anyhow, so uh, good luck out there, Sean. Man, I'll tell you, do the best you can to keep uh, Taylor looking good. I'm gonna try It's wild out here tonight, I'm telling you. Oh, I know it. Well, you're over halfway through it, so, you know, half of the misery's over. Yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Good luck. Thank you. Well, Femi's still leading. Yep. On pit road, we have Joe Darling, Justin Egan, John Barry, and Cody Miller. Yep. Now Will Klein is coming on the pit road. So it's uh, Femi Alap, Bobby Cheney back on the front row. Aaron Smith going to be restarting fourth after coming from 23rd. And he's been keeping that car pretty clean. I think we might have to get a word in with him on the next caution. Pace car is in. And there goes Femi. Ready, green, 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 green. And Ryan Marin again. He got the run on Aaron Smith. Nick and Delicato coming back. Somewhere. Caution. We got another caution. Where's the caution? Let's go see. Let's go see if we can find the caution here. Hold on. Oh, Aaron Davis got into Terrell Baker, but that brought the caution out. Really? Weird. Wow. Yeah, that was kind of weird because oh, he, Charles trying to give Aaron Davis a, a what for right there Sam what would you hit me for you know a little uh, 
retaliation there going on. It, it's, yep. As you said, tempers flare, and we're seeing it. Yeah, yep. that's Richmond. Tempers always flare, Richmond. Yep. Just like Bristol and Monsville. Yep, we're seeing it tonight, boy. This is uh, this is bringing out a lot of tempers tonight. Well, we said we were going to no fights. Talk to Aaron Smith. Let's see if we can get him down here and talk to him. Aaron Smith, you got a copy? I got gotcha. you. Aaron, coming from 23rd to 4th, brother, and the truck looks pristine, man. I don't see any damage on it. How the heck have you been doing that? I honestly have no idea. I was back there in like 20th a couple laps ago, and then everyone in front of me wrecked, so here I am. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, it's working. It's, it's paying off for you, brother. Well, they were saying that the, the track was pretty hot and slick out there. Have you been working on your truck to try to dial it in to make it a little bit more comfortable? Uh, I've just been following everyone in front of me, to be honest with you. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> some, there's some points when the truck wants to spin out or just go right into the wall. It's hard to predict. Oh, man. Wow. Well, you know, we've seen that during practice and stuff, but uh, I thought, you know, well, come race time, you know, it's usually always a different story at race time. And, uh, but I don't know, the guys seem to, these front guys seem to be doing pretty good. So maybe if, you know, you're up in the front here now and, and you're in, you know, a little bit different clientele up here, maybe that'll help you and, and you're avoiding getting out of some of them wrecks that are in the back right now. Yeah, I hope that's the case. I'm looking forward to seeing how this race plays out. Roger that. All right. Well, good luck out there, Aaron. We'll let you get back to work. All right. Thank you. Okay. Give me a lap in the lead. Yep. Driving the my ex-wife truck. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, thank you all for joining us here tonight. Folks, if you haven't subscribed to Max B TV, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up on the video. It just It's just a click with your mouse to give us a thumbs up and, you know, it just uh, really kind of makes it all worthwhile, you know, what we do here. You know, Josh and I are trying to give you play-by-play -play going on and we always like to have a little, it kind of gives us a little praise, you know. We appreciate that. We're working hard at it here, aren't we, Josh? <laughs> yes, we are working our butts off, and oh, my man. hands are very <laughs> just on the curl over. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have it's. I, I need, to, need to get manicure, some manicure, something. <laughs> I'm gonna have typer's cramp. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, couple ton of syndrome. There you yeah, go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Femia Lap, Bobby Cheney on the front row. We're getting ready to go back green here, folks. The lights are out on the pace car. You know what that means. It's race time. Once again here, we're going to be starting on lap 92. Oh, what the heck? I wasn't live. Oh, wow. Shame on me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shame on me for that. Ryan Marin, third place. He has been in this top five pretty much most of the race. Have you noticed that, Josh? Yes, he has. Yeah. I have. He, just, he does it so well. Oh, somebody's on the wall. The number 82 truck over... Joseph Lombard. Oh. Again. Uh, yeah, it's Joseph Lombard. <laughs> wow. What the heck? Come on, Joe. Gas pedal's on the right there, brother. Look how they didn't map it to the, the left side. <laughs> yep. Sean Williams is going to get by. And here comes John Barry. John's got a lot of damage on his truck as well. He's been into involved in something there. Something I didn't see. Tom Mercier. These guys all battling back here at the back end of the field. Aaron Davis goes clear back. He's blinking. I think they made him go to the back because he was blinking. But in the meantime, up front here, Femi Lap, Bobby Cheney pull away again. And Nick Indelicato goes into third. Oh, boy. Behind the comes. It's going to be yeah. on the inside. He's working at it. 
comes with those pink rims. Spencer Owens now looking to get by. Nick kind of went a little bit high there and left that bottom open for Hunter Combs to get in there. Oh, and Hunter's going to go around. Hunter. That's going to bring out the caution. Yep, did a 180 on and a turn wow. four there. Wow, just loose on his own. He just got loose I'm on sorry, his own, man. It. Yeah, that's a bummer. He's going to go way back now. When he was having such a good, solid run there. I know. It's Man. really a heartbreaker. We almost put the laps to go. And it looks like Femi's going to stay out. Him and Bobby Chaney said, no, our tires are so good. Taking a look at the cautions here. We've had 10 cautions so far in the race, folks. That's not a very good average. Not a very good average. I mean, almost half of the race has been <laughs> under caution. My prediction of it becoming a junk race that they said up there before the race really came true. Yeah. Yeah, well, they said it. And they know, you know, they're the drivers. They know you know if it's going to be a good race or not you know they can tell by i mean they had 40 minutes of practice and 10 minutes of qualifying and they can pretty much tell by you know what it's going to feel like out there on the track under those conditions with all the other drivers on the track to uh tell you whether it's going to be a good race or not you know and, and yeah they said it i heard them say it josh and you did too yep and know more about the trucks than both of us yep and Joseph Lombard will go a lap down, 21st spot, the only one a lap down. Everybody else is on the lead lap, 20 of them on the lead lap. Sean Williams goes to the back. He is stopping here for one more chance to get some fresh tire or get some damage fixed. I guess he's fixing a little bit of damage or something there. Well, in terms of the... Uh so I won the move award so far. Nick Indelicano is on 25th, and he's now in third for the Tough Break Award. It'll be Fred De La Rosa. He's now in second, and he's now in 26th. Out of the race. He is uh, taking his car yep. behind the wall. Yeah, that is a heartbreaker. You know, these guys, they practice, is. you know, like all week long, getting ready for the race and, and you know, setting up their trucks and, and then go out and get damaged. Come race day, it just, yep, come race day, it just kind of goes well for you or it just becomes crap. Yep, <laughs> that's it. You got it. Well, Family Lab will still keep his uh, pole position award since he uh, qualified in first place. And he's going to come out of here with the most laps led tonight. He's already got that sewed up. He's led 94 laps. As the lights go out on the pace car, we're going back green this time, folks. Going to be restarting on lap 102 with 48 to go. Get him going, Josh. All right. Doing excellent, brother. Doing excellent. Thank you. Yep, I mean, that with the uh, pole position award and uh, most laps led. I think I can put either way. Oh, wait, nope. <laughs> Before I got done saying, I got down the third road and green flag back in the air. Just cut me off. <laughs> yep, and Delicato. A little side by side with Cody Miller. Those, those two have come up through the field quite a bit. Spencer Owens hanging on to six. He come from 22nd. A lot of big movers moving to the front right now, Josh. This is good. You know, this is a, this shows you don't have to be a pole sitter, you know, to run well. 
All you got to do is keep that nope. truck clean. And they you know your way on the track and make sure you know what to do in certain situations. Spencer Owens running pretty good. Fifth place. Oh, uh oh. A little blink going on there. Yep, he's still, he's still in it. Caution somewhere. Oh, we got a caution. caution. Where are the cautions at? Oh, Terrell Baker again. Contact was made there. I can, I could see that. Let's go back and take a look at this. Another contact by another driver. You know, this is the kind of track, though, that, Josh, we're going to see this on here. This is kind of short track racing that, you you know, you, you got to expect to get uh, damaged or get bumped out here. I mean, if you're not, then you're not racing hard enough, you know. That's, a, that's the way I look at it. Now, we've seen somebody that was at the 10. Went way up high. That was uh, in Delicato. Now, they're three wide into the turn. And it looks like the 85, or he, I guess he come up into the 85, yeah. Yeah, 85 with pain, pain fox. Yep. So, yeah, that was all Terrell right there. He come up the hill right into pain fast. Okay, so he's going to have damage on that truck. And even the number 10 there is sliding. Yeah, he's, uh, that's uh, Indelicato. And he gets hit from behind. Looks like he's going to come right over and collect Tom Mercier. He's going to get right into the side of Tom. That's going to upset Tom. So we've got about four trucks involved in this wreck. That's, that's a shame, you know, that uh, these guys are getting that much damage. And I'm going to get just take a guess right now. With the way these cautions are falling right now, I don't expect to see Femi or Ladder Bobby Cheney on pit road again the rest of the night. The way they're they're running out here, and you know we know new tires are really not the best. Uh, you know you kind of want used ones, and the way the cautions are, they're really not getting that much. But the only thing you got to worry about is the heat cycle on these tires. Uh, the more times you get them hot and cool down, hot and cool down. Uh, it does take its toll on the tires, so that's the thing they got to keep in the back of their mind. Yep, and um, I heard word that Joseph Lombard has now his black flags cleared. We're good. He's back on the lead lap. He's coming off pit road. There'll be a restart right behind Sean Williams. He's continuing to work on that truck, though, and get it back in uh, competition. So, kudos, yeah, to, that. kudos to Joseph. Yep, saw that banged up uh, <laughs> Taylor Swift face. Yeah. Well, they just passed up three of them that came to pit road. Uh, Jeffrey Phillips, John Barry, and Tom Mercier, they are on pit road. So Joseph goes into 17th right now. He's up to 17th. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I'm just kind of thinking that we might see Femi and Bobby and those guys come to pit road one more time, but uh, it it's probably going to be a little while. I would say probably maybe if a caution would come out somewhere between now and 20 laps from now that they may come in and just freshen up them tires for uh, the late race run, you know. But for right now, the yep. way the cautions are falling, they're, they're not going to come into pit road. Yeah, but they can't accept the truth that fuel doesn't last forever. Yeah, they're saying it chat there that Joseph Lombard is going to come out of here with the Lucky Dog Award. He's got the most lucky dog. <laughs> Ready? Green, 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 green. <laughs> That's funny. Cody Miller got to run on Aaron Davis and it looks like he's going to go into third. So he's continuing his march forward. Aaron 
Davis goes back to, to uh, fourth. Jared Darling now is closing on this front pack. He drifted way back in the field there earlier. Does have a little bit of damage on his truck. Yep, but, I see uh, that as well. Yep, but he's ready to go to the front now. Hunter Combs now looking to get by Aaron Davis. And there's Ryan Marin coming up through the field again. Scott McKinnon. Oh, Ken, Henry, Oaks and Tyler Big and Keaton Henry oh, just went down to the grass. Tyler Will just now back onto the track. Oh, my. Yep. And that brings out another yeah. caution. Let's go see what happened here. Golly, man. A lot of cautions. I know. Most of them was the grass. That grass loves cautions. <laughs> Oh, these guys, I'm sure they can't wait to get this this race over tonight. If I were them, I'd be picking to get this one over oh, with. Yep, right there. Uh, yeah, it was uh, the number 10. Nick and Delicato got loose and got into Terrell Baker. So, yeah, and they're going to go down across the grass here and mow that grass again. Isn't that Indelicato? No, I'm sorry. That is not him. That's Caden Henry. Gosh. Sorry about yeah. that, Nick. I thought that was Nick's truck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. All right. But uh, they mowed the front grass, and we are back up here live. Let me that. Bobby Cheney still making laps here. Not coming to Bay Road. Let's see, that makes caution number 12. And half of the race right now has been under caution. Just half of the race. And a wild night. We yes, it is. A lot of people on pit road right now. Terrell Baker, Payne Foss, Joseph Lombard, Aiden Henry just coming off, Justin Egan. Uh, Sean Williams, John Barry, Jeffrey Phillips, these guys, now they're all coming off Pet Road. Terrell, I think, yeah, he's just now getting away. Okay. He was, I think he was trying to get a little extra damage fixed up on that. You can't be competitive if you got a lot of damage. Of course, you know, aerodynamics really don't mean a whole lot here tonight. That It's just, uh, you know, it's just more cosmetic damage. It's making sure that all the inner workings of the truck and, and everything is still good so yes but either way aerodynamics and Dallas still play a little low yep. um, at a track like Richmond See Femi Olat just popped into TeamSpeak up there, so he's ready. He's ready for his interview. <laughs> yes, he is. A couple more guys coming in just to make sure that they've got fresh tires and enough fuel and gonna have uh, probably about 34 to go or something 34 35 no will be less than that about 33 to go I think when they get the green 32 or 33 yep <laughs> oh, all right well we're working at finishing this up Josh thank you for helping out tonight I appreciate that very much I appreciate it Rudy Jeffrey Phillips I'm glad to be in the booth Jeffrey Phillips uh, taking his car behind the wall. Yep, there he does. Yep, Nick uh, and Delicato still has not got off a of pit road yet. Lights are out. We're ready to go back racing. Femi Lap, Bobby Cheney on the front row. Jared Darling starting fourth on the outside of Cody Miller. The whole front part of this field, uh, well, most of the front part of the field here has changed a lot. A lot of guys have come from the back of the field toward the front, so they've been saving them trucks up. 
some of them got a little bit of damage on them, but they're still enough to be competitive. Pace cars in. There goes Femi. Ready, green, 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 green. And there's a green flag. Cody Miller fourth. They pulled away from Aaron Davis, and boy, behind him, Hunter Combs and Ryan Marin. Oh! Ryan Marin into the wall. No caution, though. Yeah, I just saw that. I just saw it. Yeah, he's going to go to the back of the field real quick. Wow. And again, we're starting to see a little bit of a pull away oh. here from from your Latin. Oh, right man, man. just my man just spun out on this on the oh, front no. stretch. And we got another spinner. Caution somewhere. Caution. Tom Mercier going around right in front of traffic. They lot, don't lot want to do. A lot of spins. <laughs> And that makes uh, caution number 13, folks. Yeah, we'd like to see uh, the rest of the race go caution free, but the way these guys are racing us, coming down to the end, Everybody's trying to get that one or two more positions, and they're starting to race it up a little bit harder now. Uh, probably pushing their cars a little bit harder than they should be. But uh, we'll see how it all works out. A few of them do come to pit road. And that just put uh, Joseph Lombard back into sixth place. Holy smokes, what a comeback! Unbelievable. That's great. Got a lot of fans in chat rooting them on. So come on, Joseph. Keep it inside that top 10 so it'll be a good points night for you. Being at home. Hey, Mackenzie. Yeah, I think that's what Femi is saying. <laughs> Does this be over now? But uh, right now he has led 115 laps, folks. We're under 30 to go here, so this is uh, it's on the downhill slide of it. Ryan Mayer just got out ahead of the pace car. Uh, he will be at the back end of the field. I'm not sure if Justin Egan's going to get back out there on the track or not, but he's still sitting on pit road. Even if he does, he'll be a lap down or so. But uh, yeah, lots going on out here on the track right now. Everybody's looking for some grip. They're making sure that they've got enough tires just in case it would go green. But these guys up in the front are playing a different strategy. They're saying, okay, we can stay out here. We don't need to stop for tires or fuel. So, you know, they're just playing that game right now where they're, you know, it could be, it could be taking a chance though, Josh, because there is guys behind yep. them that have pitted. They're going to have way fresher tires and they could wind up maybe passing them up, you know, if they, if it went green the rest of the way. Yeah, possibly. And the thing cool about it is that we appeared back into the world. But he's done 122 laps. What? Yeast. And he's back in his pit stall. Yeah. I don't think there's any. It wouldn't be make a whole lot of sense for him to to join the race now. I mean, gosh, not with 28 to go. <laughs> he's not no, even gonna pick I up any it. positions. last place points all right here we go folks lights are out everybody's doubled up these guys are eager to get this over so gonna be starting with 26 to go when they get the green flag and Justin Egan retires for the night everybody's still on the on the lead lap that's out here right now 18 of them pace cars in 
Femi on, Femi on that loud pedal. One more time as the green flag flies. We're off going at Richmond for 26 more laps, folks. To finish us up, Hunter Combs gets into third. This is right back up where he started. And the, boy, this pack in the back back here, man. They're getting off a racy. They're three wide again. Will Klein right up the middle. Uh -huh. Three wide, wow. not again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, they passed up Aaron Davis. Aaron kind of backed out of that. He's, man, I don't want no part of this. Terrell Baker back into 12. They're starting to get a little more single file now. Running this out. Spencer Owens in eighth. Right behind Cody Miller. Aaron Smith in sixth. Having a good run here today. After starting 23rd. Cody yep, Miller. King Hemi Oaks is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, King Hemi Oaks is down in fifth. It's down in 14th. Yep. Very good for him. That's uh, very good. Hunter Combs. That goes back to fourth. Jared Darling got by. And he goes into third. So this is um, right what I figured uh, Jared would do. As he's uh, he's kept that truck in in good shape. Good enough shape to uh, bring himself into the third position. Now he's trying to race. Run down the leaders. He's got a lot fresher tires than they do. Let's hope that goes towards his advantage for the remainder of the next 20 or so laps. He's closed up on Bobby Chaney. Now getting, getting to him is one thing, but getting by him is another. And if you watch, uh, Bobby's kind of protecting that bottom line right now, and he's taking a look here on the inside of Femi Olat. This will be for the lead. Bobby has not led a lap yet today. Yep, they're going to be side by side in the turn three. And he got a good enough run, not enough to slide up in front of uh, Femi, but, and here comes Jared Darling. Watch Bobby's, uh, watch Bobby, he's not really blocking, he's just holding his own line, but he's making sure he's keeping that bottom protected, and that's exactly what he needs to do right now. He needs to keep, fe oh, oh, Jared loose! Good save. He like up. Yes, he locked up the, the tire at the end, turn four. It's that boy right there, Hunter Combs, did the same thing, but he saved it too. Wow, these Two guys. Two lockups. Yep. They're really driving the heck out of it right now. And here comes Aaron Smith to get by Hunter Combs. Payne Foss still in 10th. Will Klein back into 11th. He's, having a, he's trying to make his butt as best to run out of it today as he can. He's been caught up in a, quite a few of these uh, uh, fender benders out here. So, you know, he's trying to make the best that he can out of it. We got a caution. Uh, James Coolaball he went down the glass. Yeah. He is on the track, man. After all them laps that he has missed, he has picked up two positions, but he's 128 laps down. All right, so Bobby Cheney, our leader, as he gets uh, caught up here to the pace car. Uh, let's see if they do come to pit road. I'm, you know, I'm kind of thinking that they may not. I don't know, but you know, probably it would be beneficial to somebody like Jared Darling. I know he's in third, and there ain't that many laps to go, but he did superheat them tires. Uh, Femio Lat's coming okay. up at road. Oh boy. The Hunter Combs, Evan Smith, Will Klein, Joseph Lombard, all the, all the all just you know just coming down pit road. Yeah, that's not a bad thing at all to freshen up them tires to make a late race run. We got five of them that stay out or so. Oh, nine of them. Excuse me, nine drivers stayed out. But those guys have uh, got a lot of wear on them tires. Tenth on back 
comes up at road and Femi Alat will be out first, but he will be in tenth place when he comes out. So it's a little ways back, but he should be able to pass up a lot of vehicles out here with them new tires. Now he's not going to be able to do it uh, in the first couple laps because those tires are going to going to be new and they're not going to have a whole lot of grip to get started. Well, uh, let's talk to. We talk to uh, let's talk to Hunter Combs. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Hunter Combs, you got a copy? Oh, what's up, Rudy? Hunter, how's it going out there tonight, man? You, I, we've been seeing everybody slipping and sliding. I, I've been okay. I just was hiding at the back for a little bit, just going from the back to the front, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go. I get up to the third, and then I get pile drove from behind, and I just looped it so I wouldn't get clobbered. And I didn't get no damage from that, but I got damage from that huge wreck out turn two earlier. Yeah. But we sort of just been coming up through, so we're going to have to do some wheeling here. Well, you think you got a top ten car here tonight, or you just really struggling right now? Ah, we got a top truck, really. I don't have anything for the three or 59, but because I got a little bit of damage, and it's sort of hurting me, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of more yellows here, I have a feeling. Well, the three's no longer up in the lead now. It's the 59. <laughs> Bobby Chaney. Yeah. yeah, Jared Jared was moving there. As you've seen, he about spun. We overcooked yeah. our tires there, and we about brought out the yellow. But I think he might have the truck to win with how these laps are about to play out here. But we'll see what happens. All right, brother. Well, we're going to let you go, and uh, good luck. All right. Thanks, Rudy. See yes, you sir. Hey, so Bobby Cheney, Jared Darling on the front row on this restart. Jared with a lot of damage on the nose of that truck, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it too awful much. Oh, and even he's still in second place. Yeah. He's really quite massive of those trucks. And as long as that, you know, didn't do any internal damage to the engine or anything, he should be okay. He's got way fresher tires than Bobby Cheney way fresher so let's see how this is going to end up here going to be 11 to go when they get the green so get them going one more time josh all right that was caution number 14 on the track what what did i say at wow. the beginning probably 15 yeah yeah i think i did <laughs> so Sounded like Pace car dives down. Bobby Chain leads green, off. Green, green, green. green flag back in the air. Well, he knew he had to get a good start right there on Jared because uh, he knows Jared's on on uh, newer tires. And Jared's probably going to make a last ditch effort here when he gets down a little closer. And now uh, they're oh, wrecking. No. Oh my, they are wrecking big time back there. That's how oh, big a gun. Oh my. Yeah, it looked like uh, Caden Henry, I think, was might have been involved to get it started here. Let's go back and take a look. This might be the last caution. I don't, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. This was right after the restart. Ooh, boy, some guys really. Yeah, Joseph Lomba's engine is starting to smoke heavily now. Some bumping and banging going on back here. Emil Lat trying to bump his way. Uh oh. There are three wide. Oh, right there. The number 25. Oh, no. That was Terrell Baker. Got loose coming off the corner. And he's the one that started all of that. So, And that collected a lot of good trucks in that, too. Oh, man. Caden Henry. Uh, let's see. That was. Cody Miller involved in that. He's got serious damage. Uh, Joseph Lombard, and he's, yeah, his truck's smoking. I would say his day is probably done. He's yeah, not suddenly. Gonna, he won't be able to get back out there. Well, I send out a couple of. Uh, Awards as do say so myself, Spencer Owens is gonna get the driver. He's on twenty second. He's now up to third. For driver the 
tough break. It's definitely going to be Fred De La Rosa. Signed second, now in 24th. Well, folks, hit that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. And give us a thumbs up on the video. You can check our website out at maxbtv.com. Let me know what you think. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash maxbtv. Uh, follow us along there. We put all the, the latest races that up on there and any news that's coming up. We just had our 2,500 subscriber race here just uh, what was that a week and a half ago or so. And uh, great event. Everybody had a good time. I gave gave out $90 that night uh, to racers and to people in chat. People in chat had a chance to win some money by uh, answering trivia questions, race-related trivia questions. So I gave away $30 in chat and $60 in the race. So thanking all the subscribers for, uh, for tuning in and... And making Max B TV what it is today. We owe, owe it all to you guys. So thank you all very, very much. It's all them subscribers. So click that subscriber button, folks. And uh, man, it'll pay off. And you'll be able to be in there for... We're going to have another one at the 3,000 subscriber mark. As soon as we reach that. The 2,500 one was such a great success. I want to have one at 3,000. Now we gotta know which car and track for that one. <laughs> but it's all gonna come in good time. Okay, lights are out. Bobby Cheney, Jared Darling on the front row, Hunter Combs, Spencer Owens, second row, Paint Boss, Femi Lat in the third row. Um, he's trying to work his way back up through the field here. He does have a pretty hefty amount of damage on the front of that thing. Now they're ready to go back green. He's got a lot of damage on the nose. But it could be just cosmetic. Let's yep. see what how this goes. This, this will be it here, folks. Pace car's in. This should be the final green flag. Green, green, green. green, green. green, green. Oh, they're spinning. Oh, no, Lat's no. going to get into it. So no caution. The Husky truck. Hunter Combs right into third. I would never see that one coming in a million yeah, laps. Yeah, man. That almost ended the race right there because I don't I don't know if we'll, we would have got back under green or not. Aaron Smith Dive bombing it in there. Aaron Davis way up high. I hear some fender banging going on. Oh no, Sean Williams into it. He's going to have damage. Caution somewhere. Caution. Caution. I believe it was Sean Williams because he spun right there in front of uh, another truck. Uh, that was Femi Lat, which Femi just now went two laps down. Ouch. Excuse me, one. One lap down, and that was our yep. pole setter. And Williams goes around again. We were expecting him to be the winner here tonight, and after leading 123 laps, he's not going to win. Dang! Saw so Williams banged up Taylor Swift's face even more. Oh man! Well. Hey, we're not going to get back under green, so it's going to be official right here, yep. folks. Yep. Bob, Bobby Cheney coming home with the win, Hunter Combs second, and Jared Darling third. Aaron Smith fourth, Will yep. Klein will, will round out the top five. We'll wait till it's yep, official. Yep, Bobby Cheney. Yep. Wait till it's official before we uh, actually start talking to the interviewing the guys. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You probably heard me tell the story before, but um, we inter started interviewing the winner, and and they were coming around to get the white flag, and a guy come from the back. He had a uh, his graphics card crapped out on him or something, and he. 
He said, I didn't even see anybody on the track, and he came up Light to him and nice wrecked and all the leaders out. And we what? were interviewing them already. They still had one lap to go, and we were interviewing the winner already. And it was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. And he wound up not even winning. Hey, Rudy. Hey, They're what's getting up? a restart, by the way. They're getting a restart. They're they going to do a green white checkered. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's not over. They're doing a green white checkered. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Yep. Oh, okay. I didn't know they were going to do that. That's That's cool. That's a good idea. Flag. Might not change anything, but we'll see how it goes here. They're going to line back up and go green here to finish it up anyhow. Second flag. I mean, iRacing's calling the race, but uh, we're, they're going to go green here one more time just to see how, the, how this is going to end up. We may have to uh, freeze, the, freeze the finish here to see how it's going to end, but green-white checker. Yeah. Something that iRacing should put in. Yeah, I believe that. I, yeah, I, I'm with you on that, Josh. I think that... That should be a number one priority set by iRacing. You can put something like that in here. Have a green white checkered in all races. So, all right, pace cars in. Here they go Bobby Cheney, Hunter Combs, Jared Darling, and Aaron Smith. All right, they're coming around to get the white flag this time, folks. So far, nothing's changed up front, and it doesn't look like it's going to, but... One more lap for Bobby Cheney to bring it home here tonight. Yep, and the DuPont number 59, 7, 8. Yep, and yeah, nothing's going to change, but that's the way it is right there, folks. And Bobby Cheney's going to bring it home tonight. Big congratulations to him. Bobby Cheney winning... For the NORC Truck Series here at Richmond tonight, folks. Been a long race. These guys, a lot of cautions. But holy smokes, man, great finish. I'm not even sure how many they had. 17 cautions tonight. Golly. That's a lot. It was a junk fest. Yes, it was. And you, you they said it. <laughs> yep, okay, they well. Did. Uh, Bobby's not in here yet. He'll probably be along here in a minute. But let's see if we can get... Uh, I don't see Jared Darling in here yet either. Oh, yeah, he's in here. Let's get a hold of him first, and we'll talk to him. Jared Darling, you got a copy. Hey, Rudy, how's it going? Well, the third was the best you could get out of that truck tonight. A lot of cautions here tonight, Jared. Man, you battled through it a lot. Uh, were you worried about the damage that you had on your truck? Think, you know, hoping that it would hold together until the end of the race? Um, no, because I didn't really have that much damage. I, I, I mean, it might have looked like a lot, but only like 20 seconds or so. Uh, I was kind of mad I got that damage anyway, because this race, I, I knew it was going to be kind of a wreck fest, just kind of how the track was driving. I mean, yeah. it's still kind of a little unnecessary with how many cautions we had. It's way too many. I mean, that's kind of embarrassing. But, um, yeah. but, um, you know... You know, the track was tough. It was 90 degrees, but, um, and it was very, very slick. It was, but I mean, like I said, you know, had a many cautions. So the first half of the race, I just rode in the back because I knew it was going to be a lot like that. And then, of course, when I decided to drive through the fields, you know, I go get some damage from a big wreck. But um, it wasn't that bad, thankfully. And, um, you know, all those cautions at the end suck because I had a lot fresher tires than uh, Bobby Chaney there. I know. And if, if, if I would have got some green laps, I think I would have been able to get by him. But um, the caution just kept coming out and just wasn't meant to be. But, um, you know, I'll t a third's nice uh, after a win, the last race. Good points. Um, survived. That was the main goal for this race. I knew it was going to be kind of crazy. Yep. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. But, but hey, good finish out of it, though, Jared. I mean, you know, you kind of drifted back at the, the beginning of the race. Was that kind of by plan that you kind of drifted back a little ways? And I think at one time you were even outside the top ten. Yeah, I usually don't like to race like that, but it was planned. Yeah. I, I went straight to the back. I was in 20th the whole first stage yeah. and everything. So I was just riding because I, I knew the track was uh, tough to drive. A lot of people were having trouble. 
and I just wanted to keep everything together and be there at the end. That's what we did. So we had a shot. Um, I'm happy. Uh, third's great uh, at a track like this. I kind of struggle at the short tracks, especially here. But, um, you know, third, I'm very happy with that. It's a good night. Very good, Jared. Well, anybody else you want to give a thank you out to or a shout out to that might be watching? Yeah, shout out to you. And um, you got Josh with you. Yeah, shout yep. out to you guys for broadcasting tonight. Um, you know, putting this league out there. And I know it was a wreck fest tonight, but most weeks it's not like this. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I hope you still hope everybody watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, shout out to all you guys watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to John Barry for the league. Um, everybody in Team Speak. There was a bunch of us in there. And uh, shout out to Caden. He uh, painted the truck uh, for me tonight. Well, I ran at Kansas as well, but I'm just I didn't shout him out last time. So I want to shout him out for the paint scheme. And um, that's about it. Well, hey, I don't know. If Bobby Cheney's around. Maybe you could find him. I don't. Maybe he doesn't even want to be interviewed. I don't know, but. Did you find him for me? I can see if he's in the game chat. He's or... getting he's getting the team speak link now. Oh, okay. There you go. He's getting oh, the link. okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thanks for talking with us, uh, Jared. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, Josh, you want to take second place, Hunter? Cheney just joined. Sure. Yeah. Okay, got him. Hello. Hi, Josh. Yep, I'm here. Hi, I come. See me a copy. Yeah, what's up? So when you're going into this race, did you really think it was going to be a wreck fest? Yeah, that's usually how Nork is when they go to Richmond. It was like that last year and the year before. So I knew it was going to be. There's usually a huge wreck on lap one, like usual, and uh, it happens. So the safest spot is to be at the front. So since you're uh finish second tonight how do you feel about that uh, i mean i'm glad i got through all the big wrecks but uh i thought we were gonna have some for bobby there at the end of that yellow came out and sort of killed our momentum and he got his tires cooled down and we were sort of equal and he's had a better start and got us so um which of the four of the four turns what one would you say were your toughest turns to get around i mean uh, coming out of turn four is probably sketchiest because truck likes to spin out a lot but as long as you're easy on the throttle and steering wheel you'll be all right and then uh just one last question you think you're going to be at uh <laughs> at the next nork race mm, maybe uh, it just depends on my race schedule plays out we'll see what happens all right all right anybody you want to thank Hunter? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll first you guys and uh, John Barry for putting on this league, you for broadcasting, of course. So, uh, thanks. All right. Okay, that brings us up to Bobby Cheney. Bobby, you got a copy? Yeah, I got it. Woohoo, man. You're bringing the victory lane here tonight. You, you managed to keep that truck so clean. How the heck did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, you got to stay up front. I mean, yeah. The I just tried to. The setup was really loose, and that's where that's how I like it. So I knew I could be decent here. I just needed to. I followed Femi for a little bit there and figured out what he was doing, and it kind of helped. But uh, you know, it's just you know, there's some calls there. Probably should have pitted or not, but you know, it's it's tough because do you want to go back in there and get into that mess or just stay out front and just let it play out? So that's what I chose to do. And he ended up pitting. I passed him, then he ended up pitting on that last caution. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I just went in and just tried to hit my marks every time like I did, even on that green-white checkered. I figured if I could do that, I, you know, I could. Uh, I had a good shot. Well, I kind of figured, you know, they're uh... – I think when you guys got to about 50 to go there, the way the cautions were flying, you know, gosh, you guys could hardly get five, six laps in, and the caution would fly, that you guys weren't going to pit, you know. I mean, I, I just figured you guys were going to play it out and see how it was going to turn out. But when he pitted, that, that kind of like threw that out, and I thought, well, are you going to try to pit? Because, you know, knowing that everybody behind you has got way fresher tires than you, were you kind of a little bit concerned, especially with Hunter Combs coming down to the end of that? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. That's what I was thinking about. But, you know, it's 
you know, he was just trying to play the caution game there and figured, you know, if I can get a decent restart and go a couple laps, there'd probably be a caution. So just keep restacking. And I had control of the field, so that helps a lot. Right. But, you know, that's just the risk you take, you know. Just was just trying, you know, to just hit my marks. I mean, they were going to have to wreck me to pass me for sure. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't going to run anybody off track, but I was going to hold my line. And it was going to, it was probably going to be a pretty good ending there if we didn't have a caution with that green white because Hunter was way faster than me there. But, you know, yeah. it is what it is. Well, we've seen, yeah, we were watching Jared there, you know, because we knew Jared had quite a bit fresher tires than you. And, and uh, he was really pushing it. Now, he had a little bit of nose damage on there, which I don't really think was affecting his speed any. But, uh, you know, keeping an eye on him, and he, he took a look on the inside of you a couple times, but every time he did, you kind of slammed that door. And it wasn't that you were blocking, it was you were just protecting that position. So, you know, I mean, you had to do what you had to do out front there to, to keep that position. But you bring it home here tonight. Congratulations to you, Bobby. Anybody you want to thank? I thank John and all the people to put this league on. I mean, it was fun racing when we were green for a few laps there. It was fun. Um you for broadcasting and uh and uh all everybody that's sim racing authority and everybody was watching and everything so it's kind of a we'll shame try, try again next week it's kind of a shame femi you know he finished back there after leading 123 laps you know that that's yeah when he shame. pitted i and, and all them guys stayed out i was like oh man that sucks but you know yeah. I, I had a shot at a win a couple weeks ago here and then i got taken out on pit road but you know it so I was just, you know. Now, if it, if it would have stayed green, everything. that might have paid off for Femi. You know, if it would have stayed, from the time he pitted and it stayed green to the end of the race, I probably would have paid off for him. I, you know. It oh, yeah, because been... I, I, I pitted and went in the back, and I came through the field pretty good. Yep. And he was plenty fast enough, but, you know, sometimes that close to the race, nobody's giving you any room. So. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, Bobby. Well, congrats again. Go celebrate that win, and we'll hope to see you back here. I'll be probably be back here in a couple of weeks with these guys, but uh, we'll see you between now and then. Yep, thanks, Rudy. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, let's run down through the results here, folks. Bobby Cheney coming home with the win here tonight for Nork. Uh, Hunter Combs second. Jared Darling third. Aaron Smith will finish fourth. Will Klein fifth. Scott McCann sixth. Caden Henry seventh. Uh, Tom Mercier, 8th, Cody Miller, ninth, and Payne Faust rounds out the top 10. Terrell Baker finishing 11th, John Barry, 12th, Sean Williams, 13th, Aaron Davis, 14th, Ryan Marin, which was up there in the front for quite a while tonight, winds up finishing 15th, Femi Olat leading 123 laps tonight, and he will finish 16th, Spencer Owen, 17th, uh, Joseph Lombard, 18th, Justin Egan, 19th, Jeffrey Phillips, 20th, Nick Indelicato will finish 21st, Freddie De La Rosa, 22nd, M. Scott Ramler will finish 23rd, James Koulibaly winds up picking up a, uh, about three positions, three or four positions there, and he winds up finishing 24th, uh, Nicholas Caldwell, 25th, Connor Lane, 26th, and Max Brady, 27th. So again, congratulations to our winner here tonight, Bobby Cheney. And uh, Josh, I can't say enough how much I appreciate you helping me out tonight. This was, it was just amazing. I mean, I know we, we dealt through 17 cautions tonight, but I think we did pretty well, don't you? Oh, yes. Um, but I'm only happy to help you out, Rudy, whenever in times of need. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. All right, folks, till next time, you stay safe and have a good night, folks.